teachers and parents get your children or students ready to do a powerful whole brain clock lesson with me. The children will be using the right and left sides of their brains for this lesson. That's why I call it a powerful whole brain lesson. We're going to start with a nice round circle on this piece of white paper. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want you to use a marker. I want you to use a pencil. So if you make a mistake, you can erase. So there is my circle. We're going to title this clock. So go to the top, spell clock, capital C, L, O, C, K. In the circle, I'm going to find the center, and I think right here looks like a good center, because that's going to be our focal point. So go to the center, you're going to go straight up from that center point, and make a notch up there. You're going to go back to the center point, make a notch on the bottom, go to the center point again, go to the right, make a notch, go to the center point again, and go to the left and make a notch. Now between each of those notches, we're going to pick two notches equally spaced. So here's one, and here's the second one. Here's one, another one, two, and my last two. Okay. We're going to number those notches. So let's go right here and give this notch a number one, this one a two, three here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There. Now you can use a crayon or a colored pencil, but just a different color than your lip pencil or if you uh, are using the black marker like I am. But like I said, I don't really want you to use the black marker because you can't erase your mistakes. Here I'm going to put four notches between each of these numbers with my red marker. One, two, three, four. Get them equally spaced for the best you can. One, two, three, four. 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 I can barely get that one. All right, now we're going to count these notches. We should have 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. So here we go. We're going to start with this notch right after the 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 56, 57, 57, 58, 59. 60! Yay! 60 notches! So I did it correctly. Now let's do a time. The shorthand always stands for the hour hand. So we're going to draw a shorthand. Let's go to the center point and draw it. The shorthand facing between the three and the four. Now the long hand, which means the minute hand, we're going to make that long hand going all the way down here to the six. The minute hand tells how many minutes after the hour. So this is between the three to four, so it's really three o'clock 
and how many minutes after three. And we can count these little notches all the way around, or we can count the numbers on the outside and count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to equal. So it's 330. and girls, I'd like you to practice telling time using these clocks. Look at clock number four. What time is it? If you said 12 o'clock, you are correct. Now look at clock number five. Remember, the short hand points toward the hour and the long hand points toward the minutes after the hour. Did you answer 115? If you did, wow, that was great. And if you didn't, wow, at least you tried. And you always learn from your mistakes. So remember that tip. You learn from your mistakes too.